are Chaos Chariots of Slanesh and Ego. Well, these have a lot of Monogod competition, so we want to dive straight into the details. Recruited for 850 gold with 213 upkeep. This gets you the usual four entities on Ultra with 5,736 health between them. Armor is 110. Physical resistance is 10%. Leadership is a decent 70. Speed is 83. Charge speed is 113. Melee attack is 22 base with an attack interval of the standard 4 with a target size of very large and max entities damaged of 3. So they're not going to actually hurt much in a pitched melee. This is normal though. Melee defense is 28, not the worst, but not great. Weapon strength is 40, split between 29 base and 11 armor piercing, with a bonus versus infantry of 18, meaning that 22 earlier becomes 40 against infantry only, with damage almost 50% higher against the same. Charge bonus is 60, mass is 1500. CA likes to play around with chariot mass, so how good it feels will depend on the game version going forward. This unit is immune to psychology and has strider to avoid any terrain penalties, such as in forests. What don't you see here? Devastating flat- No one is here! Right here! All of a sudden, charge bonus 60 becomes 120 if striking that particular entity from the side or the rear. And as I just spelled out, it's on a per entity per model basis, not an issue of unit facing. So a clean charge into the back or the side is the only way you get the glorious 120 number. In the Nakari style redline skills, Princely Chariots as a maximum of plus 8 melee attack and plus 15% weapon strength. Both of these are extremely welcome. Though pitched melee is still less than ideal, but whether from the front or the side, the real damage comes from attack roll and more damage is more damage to amplify with the charge bonus. In other words, it does matter. Rank 7 and above, Chaos Chariots of Slanesh benefit from Killer's Kiss raising speed by 10%, raising charge bonus by 15%, and granting missile resistance 15%, which is already on an armor 110 unit. Charge bonus 60 times 15% gives us the corrupt figure of 69 very slanishing, which turns into 138 from the side or rear. 138 isn't literally the best the game allows, but it's pretty up there. Checking in-game confirmed that in the tech tree, Glorious Doom Riders applies, shaving 10% upkeep and granting plus 4 leadership. Modest additions, but helpful. The point being, this isn't a break the bank unit and I haven't heard people complain as loudly about Nakari's economy, so it's nothing to obsess about. As for how you use Chaos Chariots of Slanesh, well, isn't it obvious by now? Not only must you seek to exploit charges generally, you need to hit the backs and flanks every single possible time. Your mass is adequate enough to be aggressive without being able to infinitely wreck. So good micro is important, and also good anvils are important. But we've already covered Marauder Spears and two flavors of Hell Scourge Infantry. Even Forsaken in a pinch. That's enough to start with. Bail your anvils out and put them in a better position to fight for you. In a pinch, the Narrow Splash Targus damage figure actually helps you out in an infantry fight because the fat bonus versus infantry plus XP chevrons, and even the basic redline boosts, they help you significantly to hurt a few targets at a time. Is it enough? To be blunt, no. These guys need to be charging. Helping with the brawl is a last resort. What isn't a last resort is that you're plunging into the ranks with 110 armor. You also have some missile tanking potential thanks to that armor and the increased speed in the Slanesh roster. Use and abuse because you're not chucking javelins back. Take care, and have fun with the princely chariots dedicated to Sanesh. Sometimes a red tree name just fits.